Welcome to First Second's first installment of Sketch School. Sketch School is a series where First Second creators draw characters or a character from their graphic novel series. My name's Ngozi Yukazu, and I make a comic called Check Please. Check Please is the story of Eric Biddle, a former figure skater who goes up north to play college hockey and loves to bake. He's also terrified of getting checked, which is when you get hit on the ice. Good news, the second and final installment of my graphic novel series, Check Please Sticks and Scones, will be in bookstores April 7th. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to draw the main character from my graphic novel series, Eric Biddle. So I love working traditionally, but most of my comic pages are made digitally and in Photoshop. So we're going to start sketching here. I created a layer called a scratch layer, which is usually just what I call my roughs layer or my pencils layer. And I'm just going to start drawing Biddy. You can see his mouth, nose, eyes. Um, I, I've drawn Biddy so many times at this point that he's, it's kind of second nature. I can draw him like in my sleep because I just know where his features fall, but you'll still see me erasing and redrawing, erasing and redrawing because I still have, still have to kind of work out where the rest of his features and his body falls. So, okay, yes, I, I like that. Um, I'm gonna go with a bit of an over-the-shoulder look because I always think that's a more dynamic. Um, we drew his ear, drawing his hair. And if, again, if this seems fast, I've just drawn this character so many times by this point. So, getting the ear details. And we're gonna go ahead and flip the canvas. Um, flipping the canvas is a great way for you to see any mistakes that you might have not noticed. It helps you see if things are uneven and you start erasing. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and flip it back. Um, now that I've kind of cleaned everything up, we're going to lower the opacity on this layer to 10%, start a new layer called F FG lines, foreground lines. And I'm going to choose this darker, like black. Uh, darker brown and that's that's how we're going to ink I like this color because it's a little bit warmer it's not just a cold dead black so here we have I'm going to start with the ear um, one thing about my inking that people often comment on is that it's like the line weights are very bold they're very even they're very thick and it's pretty characteristic of my style I have a very cartoony style um, I it's just what I feel comfortable, how I feel comfortable drawing. And while I'm inking, you'll see me, you'll see me erase a ton um, and redraw because I like it when, especially when uh, these very thick cartoony lines, I like it when they meet at like a very sharp point or meet like almost perpendicularly. It's just, it's just pleasing to my eye overall when like the entire drawing has these like nice fluid, um, nicely connected lines. So like, and also digitally, I can hit that undo button and as many times as I want, um, because I, I kind of at this point, again, know where Biddy's features all tend to fall. So I'm going through with these bold, fast, thick lines, um, drawing Biddy, back of Biddy's head now, going through, again, doing that erasing and redrawing just to make sure that the lines are meeting and falling at the at the right place. I'm going to really quickly here just finish the lower part of him. Um, oh, I flipped again just to, you know, make sure there's not any mistakes. Going through. Kind of want his jersey to stick out in the back like he's like he's really wearing it. And accentuate the shoulder. So, and this is the line art phase and it is, you might notice that I don't leave any gaps in my lines, like all the lines connect, all the lines close because right after this, we're going to move straight into coloring. So I turned off the scratch layer, starting a color layer and be, when you're making a web comic, you don't really have a lot of time. I have swatches here. And these swatches are all the colors that I usually use for Biddy when coloring. So you'll notice that I have the magic wand. I'm going to be clicking 
color picking, dropping color in. Just super fast. It's, it's an efficient process at this point because I've been doing it for a long time. And what I'm doing here is just kind of selecting big color groups, dropping colors in. And this is actually a process we call flatting in comics when you just want to get your like basic colors in because the process right after this is rendering when you actually get to put the shading in. Uh, you'll notice that these um, other colors that I have, those are like very close to um, these initial flat colors, but those are the shading and highlight uh, hues that will you know make this entire illustration pop. People say that <laughs> in my art, like look, page really comes to life once I start rendering and I think that's true it's just something about light that makes things feel real so I'm choosing this darker color and we're gonna just toss it down that's gonna be Biddy's the shadow of Biddy's hair okay and then I'm going to go ahead and choose this for his um the shading on his skin under the ear under the neck here and then I'm gonna go right under the nose. There you go. Um, and then for his jersey, I'm just gonna choose this kind of light, almost orange, but it's going to pop out and make this highlight on his jersey while the, the other red we had will be the shadow. And so there you go. It's, it, it seems really fast and I'm kind of just selecting and throwing down color because it, ha it doesn't have to be perfect. It kind of just has to be there to provide contrast. So there you go, cleaning up things a bit. I think I'm going to make these little marks. Yeah, red, there you go. Okay, and we are pretty much done. Let's just turn off the color layer. We're gonna flatten everything, move Biddy to the center. And of course, gotta sign it. N G O Z I. And there you go, Eric Biddle. Okay, and that's how you draw Biddy. How exciting. Guys, there's gonna be a lot more fun stuff in the Sketch School series, so please stay tuned. And of course, Check out Check Please Sticks and Scones, which will be in bookstores April 7th. I'm so excited for you guys to read it. Okay, bye.